Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 2 of this video series. In the last part we just had an introduction of the ADO.NET and now we are going to discuss one of the data provider object that is SQL connection. So the purpose of the tutorial will not be using to the web project. Let's go to the console.NET framework and if we learn on any of the application we can use the same thing on uh, the other application. So we'll be choosing for the rapid, uh, for making it very quick, we will be using the console application. Let's create it. All right, so your SQL connection object, if you try to write it SQL connection, you might not be finding this class. Okay, and the reason is that You'll have to go here and write using system dot data dot SQL client. Now if you come here and try to write it SQL connection, you will see this class SQL connection equals to new SQL connection and this requirement uh, an argument uh, that is string so now let's pass this and SQL connection dot open and let's write it connection is established okay all right if I try to run this code it will give me some error as I know why the reason is that I'm trying to establish the actually what is this SQL connection let's discuss it because the video is about the SQL connection and we're not focusing on this so this SQL connection this class what does it does uh, it basically establish the connection it opens or close the connection is this object will be using for opening and closing the connection of the you know between the database and this application so you can see here I created an object of the SQL connection and right after in the second line I'm opening the connection okay opening the connection means I'm okay getting this opening the connection means uh, you are allowing the application to get the access of your database so you can uh, do the DML operation or any kind of query you can do you can execute once you open the connection if your connection is not open you cannot have the access of the database so this line is telling me okay the connection is getting open and connection established if I try to run this it will give me the error the reason is that I have not provided the complete information okay where is my data source what is the connection string so let's run this and get the error so we can come to know if we get this error in the future so we can easily at see telling me the connection string property has not been initialized that means we have not defined the connection string so this SQL connection takes a parameter that is your connection string so how we can get the connection string we can go to the view solution explorer sorry server explorer actually after a long time I'm coming on the video studio Here. and in the data connection I will write on the refresh and add a new connection and then my connection and the server name how can I get the server name I have to remember or here I already have this my system name I just put it right here paste you have two options whether you want to authenticate by the Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication for if you select this you have to give the username and password and Windows you don't have to give this so I'm giving my username and password and here you have to select the database you see I created a database for management system and I'm testing the connection whether my connection is fine or not okay it's telling me the connection is succeeded just click on OK and you will get a connection here just copy this connection once you have to click on this connection you will get the property copy and paste and I'm revealing my password what is my password my password for now I have temporarily make it as ABCD123 for now okay so 
now the connection would be established because we have given the connection string what is the connection is telling okay first you have to provide the data source and initial catalog is your database name this is your user id system administrator and this is your password let's run this and hopefully the connection would be stable established yeah correct now the first step we have successfully done that we get the access of the data. Now we can do the next step, the SQL command and like other kind of things. But let's make this optimized. This code does not look like good here. So we have a, uh, you know, we can, if something goes wrong, like everything is fine. But if something goes wrong like this, so what could be happen? We might be getting the error. Anything can be happen. So we have to uh, handle this exception. So we'll be writing this try catch and we'll be putting all the code upside here in the try block in the catch block and one more thing we have to do is like finally whether your code works fine or not or you get some exception one thing should be executed at any cost in the last that should be your connection should be close whether you perform your operation or whatever you want it okay so better if you make this thing out because it's in the try scope okay now it's fine you will see if your connection is getting open if it is established your try will be run otherwise you will go here in exception and the finally block will be you know closing this okay now let's run this application you will get the exception We are not handling it right now, but let's okay. Let's fix this for now, and let's run it. You will see. Okay, connection is established. It's fine. All right. So you can see this is the code where we are manually closing the connection. The same thing we can do by one more statement that is we called using statement. In the using statement, if we do like this. We just put our code, all the thing here. So move this. And put this code inside. Now you don't need this. This will automatically close your connection. So this is more summarized code and more short. So we'll, we can use this using statement. In the using statement, I'm passing this object. And I'm, like, I'm opening the connection, but my resource management will do it. It will automatically close. My once I'm done, my uh, this piece of a uh, code will be executed. My connection would be closed. Okay. The next and the last thing is like this hard coded string could be the problem. We should not never never do the practice that we are putting the hard coded things. So this should be coming from this app config file because right now we are working with the console or if you are working with the desktop, you might be having the app config. And if you're working with the web uh, application, you might have the web config in the .NET framework. And in, if you're working with the .NET core, you might have the app settings. So here, this was the old way I used to do in the configuration thing. I have to write some XML for this. Let's write a connection string and make this at name, okay, whatever your database name. Uh, connection string name and connection string you will pass here so we'll go here and let's cut it out shift and you will cut out, out everything from right here go to this side and name the dbs management db management DP man, whatever the name you want. This name just make it summarize this like my DB. Okay, fine. And here, how you can call, you have to add a system dot config. And let's remove all these things which we are not using unnecessary usings. Using system dot configurations, right? So. How we can get the connection string var connection string? Uh, why I'm capitalizing everything? 
connection string equals to let's remove this configuration manager manager uh oh why well, it's not coming okay so we cannot get that so first we'll go to the reference add reference in the assemblies i will search configuration i'll just check this out now come here space this piece of code configuration manager dot connection string here what i will be passing my connection db name is db let's paste it paste it over here and here you have to copy and paste sorry paste this now it's working so we are getting the connection string from where we are getting from the app setting let's yes our connection is established so successfully we created the st connection between our database and application so this was our uh, sql connection class so what it does it establishes the connection and gives you the access of the database so you can uh, perform the operations like create update and delete so i see you in the next video take care bye love is